with our top 11. We're about to put these ladies under the microscope, so to speak. This is a question and answer portion where each of our top 11 will have the chance to impress our judges with their wits. Each will be given 30 seconds to respond to their chosen question. So, let's begin with Miss Angola. Hello, good evening. All right, Miss Angola, your question for tonight is, beauty pageant aspirants nowadays prepare at an early age to join a competition. Should you have a daughter in the future, would you encourage her to join a beauty pageant? Why or why not? Good evening, thank you for having me. Um, if I would have a daughter, I would encourage her to love herself as the way that she is. I would encourage her to love her own natural hair, her beautiful dark skin, and her curves, as I am an African woman and I have my natural curves. I am here today because I'm proud of who I am. And I want to promote diversity in fashion and in pageants. So if I would have a daughter, I would encourage her to be proud of who she is. And if she chooses herself uh, to join pageants, I would definitely support her 100%. Thank you so much. Very well said, Miss Angola. Our next contestant, Miss Australia. That is what pageants are about, that empowerment. So I more than encourage it and support the movement. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Miss Australia. Next, we have Miss Brazil. Nowadays, people can find practically anything and everything online. Do you believe you can find true love online? Nowadays, people can find practically anything online on the internet. Do you believe you can find true love online? Oh, a <laughs> good question. Uh, I believe we can find our love in all, all places in the world and the internet is a place and to close the, all the people in the world so I believe, yes, I believe it. Alright, thank you Miss Brazil, thank you very much. Next up we have Miss Cambodia. Good evening, Miss Cambodia. Looking very glamorous tonight. For your question, time travel has fascinated people for ages. Given the choice, would you travel back in the past or would you rather travel to the future? Good evening, everyone. Hello to our Philippine people. So if I had a choice, I'm going to go back to the past because past is the past. We just get it and get experience for it. Even it's hard, even it's good, but you need to chew on it and believe on yourself and be strong. And I believe on myself and all the women in around the world that I can change up the world and also I believe on myself that I can be Miss Global 2018. Thank you so much! Thank you, Miss Cameron. Ooh! There we go. Our next contestant, come right up, Miss Canada. How's it going, Miss Canada? Cool, cool. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, for your question, there are beauty pageant critics who say that swimsuit segment should be removed from competitions.
Do you agree with that or not? I would have to say I think the swimsuit competition is an empowering part of this competition. I think we as women work hard and eat healthy and take care of ourselves and I think it's a, a time to shine on stage and show that we are beautiful wearing no matter what and I think that it's a, a way to showcase yourself and it's an empowering thing no matter your shape, your size, your height or anything. So I believe it's important to still have the swimsuit portion as part of the competition. Very well said, Ms. Thank you very much. Next, we have Miss Ecuador. We need you, Miss Ecuador. For your question, being a judge in a beauty pageant can be as difficult as being a contestant. Should you be one of the judges, what qualities would you look for in a winner? First, Mangadaga Bay Philippines. Well, I really believe that two uh, options are difficult, but it's very important to focus on that and see what is really important about if you ask me a judges, it's a, a very hard work, but it depends because they have the opportunity to choose the the beauty that believes in herself. So I really feel very proud for meet, uh, meet Angela Bonilla. She represents my country and she's actually the winner 2016. And she's a very kind person and it's really, really important because she tells me a lot of things and I'm really happy to be here. Thank you so much. Salamat. Thank you, Ms. Ecuador. Very well said. Next on the list we have Miss Haiti. Come on down, Miss Haiti. And there's a sacrifice you had to make to be able to join Miss Global. Thank you for the question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. <laughs> um, to come here, I made a lot of sacrifices. I've been asking for support everywhere and then it was really hard for us to for me to get support from my people back in Haiti since we are having a hard time hard time sorry hard time um, uh, we are having a hard time yes so I had to ask to my friends and family for support and then yes I'm here finally I made it thank you there you go, Miss Haiti. Thank you very much. Okay. For our next contestant, Miss Hong Kong. Good evening, Miss Hong Kong. All right. For your question, beauty queens have become role models in their own right. Which beauty queen do you look up to and why? I really look up to Catriona Gray. They yeah. hold my Philippines. It's nice to be here. You know, she really embodies what a beauty queen should be. She is empowered. She is kind. She is compassionate. She is doing pageants for a purpose and not just to be pretty. And she's using her platform to promote education, better education in the Philippines. And that's so powerful. And I think that an education is something that nobody can take away from anybody. And for her to use her platform, and for her to use Miss Universe as her stage, is such a beautiful thing. And she is beautiful inside and out. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Next up, we have Miss Thailand. Thailand? Okay. As a Miss Global candidate, you have the opportunity to meet people from different parts of the world. After interacting with your co-candidates, which country would you love to visit and why? I would really love to visit Laos and she is my roommate. I have, resist, uh, I have been resist to Laos for twice last year when I was uh, grade 12 and 
cheese. In Laos has many different from Thai culture, and I really love how different. I lo I love to learn the different of culture. Actually, I ha I really love to to go to everywhere that have a different culture. I, I love to learn culture. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Thailand. Next up, we have Miss USA. Good evening, Miss USA. How are you doing tonight? Right. For your question of the evening, social media is very much part of our everyday life. In what way has social media affected your life and why? Good evening, Philippines! Um, social media has impacted my life by allowing me to share my um, I Choose a Love campaign where I get a chance to empower the youth and empower women. And I'm so proud to say that I've uh, had a very big outreach and connection in my country. And as Miss Global 2018, I plan to continue to do that internationally. And I believe that social media will be an amazing tool to do that. Thank you. Nice. Very well said, as you said. All right, last but not least, we have Miss Uzbekistan. Hello, hello. Okay, Miss Uzbekistan, we, we all go through changes. If you have the opportunity to change something in the world, what would it be and why? Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Philippines. In this world, personally, I believe that the most important are people because people are influencing, influencing changes in environment, economy, politics, in each field of our lives. So I believe that positive changes in people's mind cause positive changes in our lives. So that's what I personally want to change in a positive way. Just think very positively. Thank you very much, Mrs. Beckstam. And thank you very much, ladies. You all did a wonderful job. Let the judges to decide which candidate should advance to the top five. The tension is mounting and the stakes are high. We'll soon meet our top five candidates right after we take a short break. <laughs> 